Shalom Yasharala. I want to continue on uh, conduct. I want to go into uh, Mark the fourth chapter, but as always, we're gonna start with Colossians three and seventeen. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all by Hashama Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Give me thanks to the Most High and the Father by Hashama Mashiach Yahweh Shai. So all that we say and do is gonna be in the name of the Lord and the Savior Mashiach Yahweh Shai. We give thanks to the Most High Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for everything. He's worthy to be praised for everything and thanked for everything. So let's go to Mark the fourth chapter. And I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 12. It says, And he began again to teach by the seaside, Mashiach Yavashai, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, a lot of people, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea. So he's out in the sea in a ship and a whole multitude was by the sea on the land on the seaside too short and he taught them many things by parables which are riddles and said unto them in his doctrine hearken behold there went out a sower to sow a farmer to plant seed and it came to pass as he sowed or planted the seed some fell by the wayside and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth. And immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched. And because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns grew up and choked it and it yielded no fruit and other fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some thirty and some sixty and some in hundred and he said unto them he that have ears to hear let him hear and when he was alone by himself they that were about him with the twelve Asked of him the parable. So some had enough sense that out of the multitude to come to ask him Hashem Yahushai to explain the riddle to him. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. So that's very important. You look at how what he's saying as far as some gonna be without. The kingdom. I mean, everybody that's gonna be within the kingdom. Those that are without, because you know, two thirds of our people are not gonna be saved. They're not going to the kingdom. Only one third of the twelve tribes of Israel. See, all these things are done in parables, riddles, to those that are without. Now we know, just to prove that real quick, we can go to a lot of scriptures proving it, but we're gonna go to one particular scripture, the last book of the Bible. Well, it's in 22 and 15. It says, For without the kingdom are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. That's who are without. All these things are done in parables. That's why you see people can't get this because they're without. That's why he said in... Uh, 2nd Ezra 9.22 He said let the multitude perish then Which was born in vain So them being born on this earth is worthless And let my grape be kept And my plant for which great labor have I That's the most high made it perfect So you don't want everybody to get this. So Mark 11 and 12. He said that seeing they may see and not perceive. And hearing they hear the word 
they may hear and not understand. Why? List at any time, any time of their life, they should be converted. And their sins should be forgiven them. Let you know, hey, he don't want everybody's sins to be forgiven. He said, let the martyr perish then, which was born in vain. Let my grape and my plant be cut, because with great labor have the most high made it perfect. He ain't working with everybody. Many are called, but few are chosen. He working with the chosen. But the many that's called, like he said, let the multitude of people perish. Gonna be more that perish than those that's gonna be saved, it says. So now let's get into it. Mark 4 and 12, we say, For seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand. At least at any time, any time, he said, in their life, they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. That's deep. Now, you know, he don't want everybody's sins to be forgiven them. But let this world say, all you got to do is just call the name of Jesus, you're going to be saved. Better, better think again. Go to Isaiah 6 and 9. Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. Say, listen to what I'm saying, but understand not. And see ye indeed, look at these words, but perceive not. This is what he just said. Make the heart of this people fat. And make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes. Least they see with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And understand with their heart. Which is your mind. And convert and be healed. That's where it's coming from. Then you know. This and I, most high. How long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants. Till I get rid of all of them. The righteous and the wicked. Because the righteous and the wicked were in the captivity. And the houses without man. And the land be utterly desolate. That's how I look over there in Israel, too. Desolate. The most I have removed men far away And there'll be a great forsaking In the midst of the land Because we didn't want to do what he said do As it is today Matthew 13 Matthew 13 Let's look at verse 13 now. Therefore speak I to them in parables Because they seeing see not And hearing they hear not Neither do they understand And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah Which said by hearing ye shall hear And shall not understand And seeing ye shall see And shall not perceive That's why I said when you look at the New Testament When Amashek Roshai walked the earth He only had the law and the prophets to go by That's it for this people's heart, which is your mind, is wax gross. And their ears are dull of hearing. And their eyes they have closed. Listen, at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. But we didn't want that. We want to try to follow the way of the world. And the world set up to kill you, to send you straight to hell with it. Like he just said, let them out to Paris, then which was born in vain. Verse 16, but blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they can hear. He said, blessed are our eyes, we can see in our ears, and we can hear. For verily I say unto you, truly I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see, and have not seen them. And do hear those things which you hear And have not heard them Many righteous men Prophets and Would have loved to hear the things That we are hearing in these last days And the information that's coming out In the spirit of the most high But people just Going their own way Taking it lightly 
Like it's nothing. Luke the 8th chapter. Verse 10. And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the Most High. Mystery means it's something that's unknown. It's not to the multitude. It's to a special few. But to others in parables. See? And others in parables. Riddles. That seeing they, may, they might not see and hearing they might not understand. That's deep. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of the Most High. So one planted the seed. The seed is the word of the Most High. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then come up the devil. Keep this in mind. This, that we're going to go through it in different perspectives. Say, Then come up the devil. They hear the word. Then here come the devil. And take away the word out of their hearts. Which is their mind. Let me get that so you'll know that. This heart is talking about the mind. He's. Matthew 7, 21. Hold that so you'll know. No, it's, uh, it's not 721. It's, uh, that's not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, go into the kingdom. Slip on mind right now. Uh, we'll come back to it. But uh, anyway, let's continue here. Luke 8 and those by the wayside in 12 are uh, they that hear, then come up the devil and take away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. See? So you hear the word, once you find the wayside, you hear the word, then here come the devil and take away the word out of their hearts, out of their minds. Take it out of their minds. The word of the most high, out of their mind. They can't remember nothing hardly no more. They dealing with the world. They don't went into the world. They become like this, James 4 and 4. Here come the devil to bring you right with him. This is what he about. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Because you ain't dealing with the spirit of the Most High no more. You dealing with the, you have to go to the world. You, that makes you be at war with the Most High. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. Straight up. You want to be a friend of the world, you're the enemy of the most high, period. It's like that, that's the way it is. It's, go to Mark 7 and verse uh, 21, Mark 7 and 21. Say, for from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. See? So the heart's talking about your mind, the way you think. Okay? So, when you look at this, the one, the word of the Most High is sown. And then, that's why he said, you fall by the wayside. Then the devil comes in and take away that which you have. And the devil is set up to what? Make you fail. Take you right into the lake of fire with him. That's his whole purpose. He, go, he, he the one that say, come as you are. You can do whatever you want to do. 
I can't do this. He have you saying that. Because many are deceived by their own vain opinion and an evil suspicion overthrowing their judgment. Who do you think that where do you think that evil comes in? That's the devil. Make you think wrong. Make you act wrong. Make you talk wrong. Look. Luke 8 and Twelve. Those by the those by the wayside are they that hear the, hear. Then come up the devil and take away the word out of their hearts, out of their minds, lest they should be leave and be saved. So you roll it. Here come the devil. Take whatever it is that you have out of your mind, the way you're supposed to be thinking right. Because he know this is this his conclusion right here. This is where he wants you to go right with him. And people don't really understand that. That's why they'll do wickedness and don't realize this is where he set up. You go right with him. He so I say, he'll take everybody. This is where he'll take you right with him. Revelation 20 and 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire. And brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are And shall be tormented day and night forever and ever That's where he wants you to go right with him That's the conclusion of the whole matter Finish He wants you to be finished right with him That's why you got to be strong in the spirit So you don't allow him to Take you into that lake of fire That burn up with Fire and brimstone forever and ever Let's look at uh, John 12, St. John the 12th chapter, and verse 37. But though he had done so many miracles, my child Shai had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. Say they ain't believe on him. That the saying of Eli Isaiah, which is I had. I say us, but that's Isaiah, the prophet, might be fulfilled, which he spake. Most High, who have believed our report, and to whom have the arm of the Most High been revealed? Therefore, they could not be, excuse me, believe, because that Isaiah said again. He said that in Isaiah, the fifty-third chapter. He said. Therefore, they could not believe because Isaiah said again. He said it the first time. Now you got to say it again. He had blinded their eyes and hardened their heart that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted. And I should heal them. See, they didn't want that. We always find a way. These things said Isaiah when he saw his glory and spake of him. When he saw his glory, the Mashiach Yahweh Shai and spake of him. Go back to Mark, the fourth chapter. You can put a marker there because we're going to be precepting because he's giving an understanding of what he was saying as he spoke out of the seashore and he had came with those that wanted to know what was he talking about? What were you speaking on? Give us an understanding of it. Came with the apostles. Mark 4 and 13. Mark 4 and 13. And he said to them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word. See? The sower the seed, planting the seed, is the word of the Most High. Look at I. 
Acts 28. Acts 28. And 17. Acts 28, 17. And it came to pass that after three days, Paul called the chief of the Jews together. And when they were come together, he said unto them, Men and brethren, though I have committed nothing against the people or customs of our fathers, yet was I delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. I was delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. These Italian Caucasians were super part of the earth, Edomites, who, when they had examined me, would have let me go because there was no cause of death in me. But when the Jews spake against it, I was constrained to appeal unto Caesar. Not that I had ought to accuse my nation of, not, not that I had a problem with my nation, to accuse them of something, but it's cause therefore call, have I called for you, to see you and to speak with you, because that for the hope of Israel, I am bound with this chain. So I've been in prison, chained up. And they said unto him, We neither received letters out of Judea concerning thee, neither any of the brethren that came showed or spake any harm of thee. But we desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest. For as concerning this sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. See, everybody got something to say about you. That's what he's saying. And when they had appointed him a day, they can be before him, they came many to him and to his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of the Most High, persuading them concerning Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, both out of the law of Moses, hear this? Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, where? Out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets from morning till evening. Now you tell me he ain't in the volume of the book. He expounded on the Mashiach Yahweh Shai out of, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets. Both from the law of Moses and from the prophets from morning till evening. And some believe the things which were spoken and some believe not. And when they agreed not among themselves, so some agreed, some didn't. They departed. After that, Paul had spoken one word. Well spoke the Holy Spirit by uh, Isaiah, the prophet unto our fathers, saying, go unto this people, talking about we the 12 tribes of Israel, and say, hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and not perceive. For the heart or the mind of this people is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart, their mind, which brings forth thoughts, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of the Most High is sent unto the Gentiles, and that they will hear it. The foreigners, the Israelites that are scattered, the sheep that Amashai was trying to say he have, that he got to bring them into the sheepfold. The Israelites that would call themselves Gentiles. 29. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had great reason among themselves. And Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house and received all that came in unto him. So he taught in his house, preaching the kingdom of the Most High and teaching those things which concern the Most High and the Mashiach Yahweh Shai with all confidence, no man forbidding him. In his house, two years. But you see, it's the same thing. Hearing they may hear and not perceive and seeing they may see and not understand.
Romans 11. Romans 11. 11 chapter and verse 7. What then? Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeking for. So we ain't obtained the things that we seeking for. But the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. The one third of the 12 tribes have obtained it. And 144,000 out of the one third. And the rest were blinded. According as it is written. The most I have given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see. And ears that they should not hear. Until this day. Until this very day. And David said let their table be made a snare. And a trap and a stumbling block. And a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened. That they may not see. And bow down their back always. Make them have a hard time. Always. Say. May you want to listen. Look at uh, Mark 4 and 13. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? Know ye not this riddle? And how you gonna understand all these riddles that I'm gonna bring forth? The sower soweth the word. Okay? The sower soweth the word. Look at Matthew 13 and 19. So the sower is sowing this word. It says, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one. Remember it said, the devil, right? The devil came, now it's called it the wicked one. Then cometh the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his heart. The wicked one come, the devil come, and sow that away which is in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. So we gotta go into that wicked, Job 9.24. Whoa. Job 9.24. Job 9.24, verse 24. It said the devil, now it said the wicked one. Job 9.24. The earth is given unto the hand, into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Now, last I look at the Bibles, they all have Edomites in them. Pictures of Edomites. Cover the faces of the judges. The Mashiach was shy. He's going to judge the most high, the ultimate judge. You know, the first page you see in the Bibles, they have uh, a butt naked white man pointing, pointing out of the sky. You got a Mashiach up shy. As a so-called white man, which is uh, all these are lies. You got all the children of Israel being so-called white people. So that's these are lies. Job 13 and 4. Job 13 and 4. But you have forties of lies. There it is. You are all positions of no value. See? The physician, a physician supposed to be able to heal you. But if not, then how how is it that it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen? Because they're liars. They practice in medicine. Psalms 58 and 3. Here come that wicked one. Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, see? So they're strange from the womb. No sooner they're born, they're gonna start speaking lies. They tell you, they go astray, they are strange from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So they can't help it. The Most High made them that way. Proverbs 16 and four. So it's amazing to me how you can allow them to dictate how your spirituality gonna be and, he, and not only them it's our people that have that same mindset too that's why I brought out how he gonna put the sheep on the right hand and the ghost on the left hand it's a mindset 
a mindset. Because you could be a goat and be black as tar. You got to do with no color. It's about how you deal with understanding spiritually how you got to operate. To follow the rules and regulations of the most high. Or you a goat, point blank. Proverbs 16 and 4. You a heathen. The Most High have made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. There it is. He made the wicked for the day of evil. They do what they're supposed to do. We just not doing what we're supposed to do. You allow them to come in and destroy what it is that would be righteous and you on a, you're on a righteous path, that's thing you know. Here come the devil, here come the wicked one that operate with Satan and take away your blessing and bring a curse upon you. Ecclesiastes 3.24 For many are the seed. This is Ecclesiastes and Apocrypha 3.24 For many are the seed by their own vain opinion. Worthless thinking. Worthless thoughts and an evil suspicion. We think that evil is the devil, the wicked one, Satan, have overthrown their judgment. The things that they decide to do, coming from the devil. That's why I say. That's why he tell you some plant by the the wayside. Mark 4 and 15. And these are day by the wayside where the word is sown, the word of the Most High is given. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Satan comes and so take away the word that was sown in their minds. So we didn't heard the devil, the wicked, and now Satan. Could it be all the entities of the same mindset? Yes. That's why it's saying what it's saying. Well, that's in 12 and 12. Well, that's in 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe means destruction to the inhabitants, the people of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He know he have a short time, so he's coming down with much wrath. On who? Verse 17. And the dragon, which is the devil. Well, we got to define that. Go to verse 9. Brothers in 12 and 9. And the great dragon was cast out. Who is this dragon? That old serpent. Genesis the third chapter called the devil and Satan was deceived the whole world lied to the whole world lied from the beginning right the wicked was deceived the whole world lies he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him so who he coming out to? verse 17 and the dragon was wrought with the woman which is the Israelites, when you read Jeremiah 6 and 2, the most high is likened us into a comely and delicate woman, symbolically, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. That's that one third. The rule of the multitude is going to perish that the most high made in vain. Which keep the commandments of the most high. They will keep the commandments of the most high and have the testimony of a Mashiach that was shy. They have the testimony of a Mashiach that was shy. So what is the devil doing? First Peter 5 and 8. You making this round say, be sober. First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be focused. Don't be drunk. Don't be no drunkard. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, your enemy, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk of about seeking whom he may devour. Where are you going? Up and down, to and fro on the earth. When the Most High asked you where he was going in Job, the first chapter, seven verse, say, "Where you going? Where you been, Satan?" He said, "Going up and down, to and fro in the earth, making that cross sign across their chest like they do." 
crazy. This is real. Look at uh, Matthew 13. Matthew 13 and 14. See, it's sad when you look at, he know he got a short time, so you can't allow Satan to take over in your decisions or what you got to deal with. Because there's a great con con conclusion of the matter that the most I going to bring down because he's releasing that mercy and grace off us. So who's going to have faith? So you got to depend on faith. And that's doing what he wants you to do. Believe in him so you'll do what he say do. And the fear of the most high. To be afraid. Be scared of him. So you won't do wrong. Matthew. 13. And. We're going to look at verse 19 again. When one. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom. And understand if it not. You're hearing the word, but you don't understand it. And another thing, a lot of people don't understand things, and they too, the pride will not allow you to say, I don't understand. I need more counseling with this part, this, this particular uh, issue pertaining to what you're bringing out. You got to know this because I'm not shy, I'm tell you, he's not coming back for no novice. Said, I'm going to start all over whenever he come back. No, you're going to start all over and be thrown in the lake of fire. This is your opportunity now to get this part. You say, when anyone hear the word of the kingdom and understand of it not, then cometh the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his mind, in his heart. This is the this is he which receives seed by the wayside. You give an understanding of the parable. Some fell among the wayside, some fell among stony ground, some fell among thorns, some fell among, among good ground. See? Go to Mark 4 and 16. Mark 4, 16. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground. Who, when they have heard the word, they heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness. Will sound good. And have no root in themselves. They don't have no root in themselves. And so endure but for a time. They endure for a little bit. A little time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises, for the word's sake, you know, they got to be this way. Bringing back our culture, who we are, following the word of the Most High, His rules and regulations, His laws, His commandments, to be an Israelite and not a heathen or somebody of the world or somebody it, letting themselves be at war with the Most High, an enemy of the Most High, showing them how not to be at, find themselves at war with the Most High and not to be an enemy of the Most High, especially when you've been introduced or called into this real truth. He said they're going to beat you with many stripes, more so than those that don't know. You're looking down upon them, too. They might not get as many as you get. It says, And these are they likewise, verse 16, which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, keep that in mind, they have no root. That root is very important. Because that root, from that root grows the tree, grows the plant, whatever. Coming from that root, right? And have no root in themselves, and so endure for a, t for a time afterward, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Immediately they get offended. Matthew 13 and 20. Not through 13 and 20. Yeah, some come up about the word. I mean, the main thing we could do is come back to who we are. Or you're going to be a goat. You're going to be put on the side of the goat that's going into everlasting fire with the devil. Straight up. Matthew 13 and 20. I'm trying to warn you. 
But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and are now with joy. Oh, it feels good. Receive it. Oh, man. You find out you were Israelite. You find out that the Most High is a brother with uh, pure wool hair. And about you, I got shot feet like in the fire brass of it burned in the furnace. Wow. Just like us, just like me. Excited, right? Verse 21. Yet have he not root in himself. He ain't let this root be in himself. But in but during it for a while. He in there for a while, for when tribulation and persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. They're offended by coming back to being an Israelite. You got to put on a new face. You got to take off the old clothes and put on new clothes. Put a ribbon of blue and fringes on. Four corners of your garments. Start walking and acting as an Israelite. Or you're a goat. You're going to be thrown in the lake of fire. You're going to be on the side of the goat. Or you one of them that was, they said, hey, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, to let my grape, my plant be kept. That's a grape and a plant of a cluster. And one plant of all the plants. But with great labor have I made it perfect. This ain't for everybody. That's why he said he don't want everybody to be healed. There ain't no man. The most high draw you to a Mashiach was shot. And a Mashiach was shot due to choosing. This is very key here. Look at Ezekiel 33 and 31. The 33. Ezekiel 33. The 33rd chapter. Verse 31. The 33. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, children of Israel, 12 tribes of Israel, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth, they show much love. With their mouth, they show much love, but their heart go up after their covetousness. They big mouth, they show much love, but they all into it. But their mouth, their thoughts, Go up after their covetousness, the things that they want to want to make them feel good. Covetous. Or what somebody else doing? Doing the same thing that somebody else doing. Being the enemy of the most high, being at war with the most high. So, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that has a pleasant voice. Sound like a beautiful melody of somebody that can really sing. And can play well on an instrument or an instrument that they play with very well. But they hear thy words, they hear the words that sound good, like I say, with joy. They feel they feel with joy. They hear thy words, but they do them not. But they're not gonna do what they supposed to do. They're gonna sin. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, as we know in our day and time. Then, they, then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. They're going to know that a prophet has been among them. When you see these things happen, they're going to know that a prophet has been among them. St. John 5 and 38. St. John 5 and 38. <coughs> And you have 